Hello, hello, and welcome to Aurora's Gameworks, where we play some games and see if they work. Today, we are on the third installment of the Dark Picture Anthology series, House of Ashes. Before we get into it, be sure to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below to feed those algorithm gods. Now, without further ado, let's get into the adventure. I don't know if I could do it any better this time. I honestly... I feel like I should do the same thing I did. And I shouldn't be allowed to, uh... Change history, but the corrupted data... Wanted me to. <laughs> so, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You were right! I realized too late that you were right. What a fool I was. Alright, Nick. What did we do last time? Did we shoot at him to no avail? I think, or we used the light to no avail? Whatever we did, I had no effect. <laughs> Bearing updated, Malathu came back as one of the undead. Yes, we know. I, I, did we do the crucifix going like, Nurr! or did we do the rifle? I feel like I would use the rifle, so I'm going to use the crucifix. Why not? Sure. Traits updated, oh, this better be good. Ha ha! You fear the cross! I don't think he fears it. <laughs> what? Uh, Nick took an injury. Alright. That's fair. Makes sense. He was like, nah, I don't care. <laughs> so I think both options, Nick's just gonna get hurt. Salim! He is best boy, and he must be protected at all costs. Eat it, nerd! Alright, Selene. We'll keep you alive. Because you must survive. You are the best boy. Everyone else can die. Except you. I think at this point, I was choosing between helping her and shooting the guy coming after me. And I shot no one. So I'm gonna shoot the guy coming after me because Selim is best boy and he knows he needs to survive. I'm sorry, it's just the way it has to be. Ah oh, shit, are you gonna die? Uh -oh. <laughs> one of the creatures cornered Rachel in the catacombs and infected her. Good. Good. Infected. You should have been using that from the get-go, bro. Okay, bye. <laughs> Slim your best part. Essentially. Everything's going. Everything's going to shit. Eat it. Put it in your face and slam it. You need to like legit fix that thing, Broski, because uh, it's kind of helpful. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and die now. Thanks. It's a little bit satisfying. As satisfying as it could be. So we made two big changes. So we'll see how that affects it. 
I do believe this is where I left off, so... <clears throat> Yay. Once again, we go into the abyss. Doing good, Jason? I'm glad. Teach you to mess with a marine. <laughs> yeah. Salim! We've been varying in depths. Like, are we gonna go like down, down? We going down, down in the depths though? Yeah. Confront. It's Jason, dude. I come in peace. Yeah. Don't you fucking move. Bruh, don't be like that. You guys gotta become best buddies. Just oh, like you shit. did with Nick. It's on you. If you people hadn't ambushed us, none of this would have happened. Yeah. Don't mean it's not be like harm. that. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. Don't be like that. Don't be macho man Randy Savage. Honestly. I'm just glad to see a human face. Thank you, Jason, for being reasonable. If only a little bit. Enthusiastic. We must fight as one. Cautious. We can be allies, if not friends. Yeah, cautious. We're going to be best buddies. We don't have to be friends. But we can be allies. That's something I can get on board with. That's right, you can. Thank you for being sensible, my friend. I was about to say sensitive for a second, and that's just not what Jason is. Jason is not sensitive. I'm sure if I could look at his traits, it would say insensitive. I mean, I, I, I can look at his traits, can I? Oh, yeah. Jason. Oh. Nah, I can't go to Jason's stuff. All right, when I am Jason, I'll be able to look at him. My name is Salim. I am best boy. He is best boy. He must live. Yeah. If I think for one second you're trying to cross me, best believe me. The following second you're dead. Yeah. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? <laughs> Just think I'm fucking afraid of a marine dude? I've been murking vamps, yo. Like, he has the killest, he has the highest kill. They say keep your streets close, but your enemy closer. But this is something else. They also say desperate times call for desperate measures. Yes, we're both right. We both know idioms. Good for us. Let's inspect some skulls. Hello, skulls. How are we? Just being a pile of skulls. Good on you. Many people died here. <laughs> Your people always been like this. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have no clue about our history. I call it like I see it. I mean, okay, it's let's not talk about the, the meticulous history. genocide of the indigenous people of America, Jason. I get all the history I need from cable TV. Well, you see. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Goddamn ignorant oh, American. You're, you're messing with me. Uh, maybe you're just as ignorant as I am. <sighs> I can't move. I would like to move. I can't move. Jason, are you have you locked me under your spell? Oh, there we go. Now I'm good. Excuse me. Can't go this way, but we can go the other way. But I can look inside here. Looks to be where the archaeologists set up camp. We need to find a way through there. Can I inspect more things? Is that dynamite? Dynamite. Day. It's the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? This must be where they kept the prisoners. Sacrifices, maybe. Maybe. 
Well, that was nifty. I learned so much about the room we're going to be going into. I assume it is. Because we take a right here, and then another right, and then through this door, which will lead us in there in a backwards way. That looks like our best way through. Yes, it does. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Like sexy lingerie, slipping through, and on, and not the best metaphor. Go! Ooh, Jason, letting him go first. Oh, we hardly knew ye. you. Okay. What do you think? It's blocked. I gotta find another way around. Well, about time I hit that old dusty trail. But to be fair, every trail here is dusty, so... Yes. <laughs> I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my sight. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Don't die, Jason. I don't hate you. You got any idea what we're dealing with? Yeah, vampires. Foreboding or uninterested? Foreboding. Ha ha ha. Vampires. Not possible. Well, fucking. My father once told yeah. me. Yeah. If something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. <laughs> we must work together. It's a good way of putting it. Them. Yeah. It's beginning to look like that. <sighs> Come through. That's that is a goddamn not gonna kill Jason. Jesus Christ. It is like a terrible nightmare of mine, you know, crawling through small spaces. Like we know when you like see like spelunking videos of people like crawling through ridiculously small spaces. Nah. Nah. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Hello, tablet of Ox Minotaur God. R32. The clay tablet depicts a priest conducting a ritual while brandishing a knife. There is a numbered label posted to it. The temple priests sacrificed their own followers to appease the gods. Yes. And it worked. Nothing bad ever happened. What's underneath it? I see the sacrifice. What's going on underneath? Is that just like pretty stuff or like... They look like skyscrapers. Is that just me? Am I seeing too much into it? Is it just nice filigree? Ah, more story! Read the top part first. Unintelligible. Unintelligible's dead! I sat with her in her final moments, telling her how sorry I was. Unintelligible, hell-forsaken place for placing my vanity above our love. When unintelligible, the end of everything. I knew she unintelligible. Unintelligible, she made me swear to bury this place. I don't think the laugh was necessary. It's less whimsical. 9 p.m. Something unholy has happened. <laughs> it only just started happening? As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. That bitch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. A parasite? Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. Not ideal. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me. And only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Spared me from its fury. Ugh, it's in humans. Well, it's not a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wah wah. <laughs> it's the you seem like dumbest you got your head joke ever. On. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? 
it's compulsory. For us, they had to. We had no choice. Like Korean military service or Israeli military service, they have to. <laughs> Your friend Nick. I like him. He was good to me. He's a good guy. Any other day, he put one between your no, eyes. No, you wouldn't. Don't speak for Nick like that. Jason. You fuck. And we mosey on. Continuing into the depths. Remember, that living. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? <laughs> it's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. Not the best. It's as good a reason as any. I suppose. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I mean, not when you get fan fanatical about it. Respectful. I have no grievances with you. Dismissive. Believe as you like. Uh, respectful. Why would we be disrespectful to Salim? He's best boy. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. As long as it's not Fox News. Listen, fucking turn on some Al Jazeera. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. <laughs> I'm so good at pushing buttons. Something gonna come up out of the well. Sacrificial well. Is it gonna be Dewface? Oh, just a just a vampire. That's fine. I thought it was a thrall. Which to a certain extent is also scarier. Ah! And... Salim is strong, his best boy. Oh, thanks. You're a very helpful vampire. Ooh, no thank you. That was a close one. I forgot quick time events were a thing. Yeah, good stab. Hoorah, Marine. We need to calm our tatas there. I wonder if I didn't push X fast enough that it would just like stab through Jason's face too. I think that was one of the things, right? That was one of the thingies we picked up, one of the uh, premonitions. You're welcome. I say we get the fuck out of here. Dude, Salim's like a vampire ace. He's killed five, right? At least. Maybe. I think so. Dude's an ace. I'm not sure if like <laughs> fighter jets and fighter pilots, if you can keep like the same terminology for like, I don't know, killing vampires, but you know, I'm going to. <laughs> Salim's an ace, don't fall down the hole, ace. Well, whole lot of holes and nothing. Hello? My name's Salim. I'm here to open your doors. Inspect. It's cool. Everything's fine. There's probably no booby traps in here. Like there have been in other rooms. Check for tripwires. Keeps happening. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. Dynamite! If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your bag, be my guest. I mean, it's... Yeah, I see the caution. <laughs> he just fucking does it anyway. Whatever, if I explode, I explode. Those Hello, sir. Are close, right? You seem to be having a great time. I'll leave you to your enjoyment. Continue. What's going on here? Do you want to hear a joke? 
Yes, please. No. Oh, come on. Ooh, more. Nice. The camp is in an uproar. Workers are missing and Lady Bradshaw unintelligible. But I can guess. She yearns for the same fate that unintelligible. She wants to be unintelligible. 1st of January, 1947. 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again. God damn it, Bradshaw. See us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. It is Bradshaw, right? She's the one doing it. Around I'm pretty us, sure she is. They shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. I mean, you can. You just gotta figure out the right way. There's only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. It's noble. They cannot be allowed out of here. I get it. Self-sacrifice, nobility. It's cool. It's a good story. It's probably why they put it in the game. I feel like there's something more, right? Like, vampire, yes, but where do the vampires come from? Was it just like appeased, you know, like pissed off gods, like it says in the mythos? Or is it like, you know, something else? Mary! Is this you dying at 9 in the uh, 9 a.m. or is it 9 p.m.? Oh, it was 9 p.m. Uh, 1930, temp and pulse dangerously high. Subject mostly unconscious, occasionally wakes and screams. Sweating sickness continues. Saline, su uh, saline supply low. Detected movement under the skin of the abdomen and around the location of the adrenal glands. So it's heading out next to the kidneys. Uh, suggests exploratory surgery, but I fear M might not survive the operation. So, 2010. That's the time, not the year. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's when we hit 910. Time of death, 913. Okay. Subject weakening, more movement under the skin scene, parasitic organism. Apparently. What's going on? I said, hey, yeah, 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 penis statue, vampire man, yeah. Autopsy notes, specimen contains an inordinate amount of blood in its stomach. Analysis of blood sample shows high density of adrenaline. Does the organism feed on fear? Uh, instills, instills fear in its victim, gets adrenaline pumping, then attacks? That's interesting. We only have so much adrenaline. Scavenants. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? <laughs> Just letting people know we went this way. That's awful. <laughs> Hope is all we got left. I mean, I suppose so, dude. It's a bit, uh bit much but who knows like, you know what do I know what do I know someone may see it a little bit different scenery natural caverns I'm glad Jason still had some of his climbing equipment I don't know where Salim got his are the ropes still there Green light, indicative of liches. Adventure time taught me anything. I mean, as well as like any <laughs> occult light has always been depicted as green. I don't know why. But I dig it. So, like... This place is a jack in the box. What's down there? Like, lichy stuff? Is there gonna be a lich lord? Is Vecna down there? What's going on? Someone's phylactery? Do we have to destroy a phylactery? I'm all about it. What do you make of it? It's a green hole. It's like nothing I've ever seen. I'd be surprised if you had. You see that elevator cable? The explorers the, must have gone down. The chain? I don't think they made it back up. <laughs> if the elevator's the down there, then you are correct. Functional. 
No. <laughs> no? We Selene's are not the best going of us. Down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fire them. You crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere it's down there, you really want to find Reasonable. them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. All right, well, all right, all right, let's do it. Yeah, let's go down the scary occult lich hole. Oh, the chains are there as like a guiding thingy. I was like, how is it going up the chains? What mechanism is that? It's like, no, it's being winched. It's being pulled up. The chains are just guides. Make sure shit doesn't go wonky. Well, here we go into the elevator. Oh, we're gonna be made into slaves of some diabolical lich creature. It's gonna use us for our adrenaline and then reanimate our dead bodies. Has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. I mean, you don't have to make it so Cthulian sounding. Let me see how many have fallen into shadow. Is it Cthulians? Are those like star creatures? Let's hope nothing star spawn? unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. Thanks. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies, you cannot seem to bury the hatchet. They're starting the burying process, how dare you? Is buried in a bag. <gasps> they wouldn't. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing. Five candles. Bury what remains of them under it. Gotta keep five people alive. So let's Salim, Nick, Jason, uh, chick whose name I can't remember right now for some reason. Oh, and Eric. Yeah. Why are you in Little Hope? This is a bad place to be. Don't go into Little Hope. Did they cause Little Hope to be Little Hope? Were you guys a part of the, the company that fucked up? Oh, it's you two. That's Eric and, uh, what's her name? Rachel. Oh. Beer! America Smells. beer. Fried. Oh, chicken. We're in Hillbilly territory. What were you expecting? Cantaloupe caviar. Is that a thing? Not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> People put caviar on cantaloupe? I recall a certain somebody saying that she wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to now look up cantaloupe caviar. Cuz what? All right. It exists. Good. It's not the game developers messing with my brain. A few moments later. Okay. Okay. So it's a faux caviar using a melon. So it's not actual caviar. They're not putting caviar on melons. They're creating faux caviar using the cantaloupe as a catalyst to make the caviar. All right, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Be a weird fucking tree. The guy who served me, I, I don't know. He was, he was looking at me pretty strange. Yeah, he probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often, especially when he's showered. Uh huh. Uh, he was saying some weird shit about little hope such as it's nothing we should go no come on tell me he said i'll never again be as happy as i am now what does that mean <laughs> he's a hillbilly prophet of course not you know my sole objective rage is to make you happy. It's Cletus Damas. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're the going. Nostradamus of the South. Smile on your face. See? Do 
told you. Gross. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Tim Gross. Like my very own loyal puppy dog. Semper Fi. He means always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking after myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly. Oh, he's not missing his foot. Oh, <laughs> well, that's probably the uh, the catalyst event that made him end up losing one of his feet. You know, it happens. Hi, Eric. Are you pointing that towards yourself? All right, bye, Eric. I guess. Hi, Nick. I like how Jason's the first one you call for. <laughs> well, I'm glad you survived. Everyone's doing great. Everything's fine. Nothing is fucked. Rachel, how are you? Alive. Good. Infected with something, it said. Fuck. <laughs> Agreed. How fast does it work? Does it like, does the par parasite need to like incubate and grow before it fucks you up something fierce? Oh, hi. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Don't transfer parasites. Don't, oh, they're transferring parasites. Oh, hi, Nick. It's probably the worst. Uh, Eric, it's probably the worst right. time. Eric. Uh. What's we got? Bigger fish to fry. Back again, are we? Now oh, come on! Shit, it's malfunctioning. Don't do me the thing not working and during a go. horror movie trope. You too, Nick. You're coming with us. Come on, Ray. This grouping was a bit off for a marine. Come on. Shit. Why did we stop when we turned the corner? Why wouldn't he just keep going? Everything's great. Over there. Why would you not go towards the door instinctually anyway? Entered room, looked around room, did not think about going through door. Ah! All right, bye, Nick. We hardly knew ye. He's already injured. He's at a disadvantage. Ah, help him. Look at him. Selfless and everything. Oh, it wasn't just a push, it was a, it was a continue to push. <laughs> oh, I almost fucked that up. I was just like, why? Boom, got it. Oh, you gotta keep pushing it. <laughs> that could have been bad. Thank me later. Let's move out. What are you thinking right now? It's pretty easy. Hey, thanks for saving my life. See? Quick. Easy. Done. Boom. Now I know you're not dead, but it'd be like super cool if you were. Like oh, just one last flinch. Oh, they're gonna see the side Jason put down <laughs> and go that way. You should scavenge any like medical supplies. There might be some. You think that thing's gone? Looked like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. JK could be anyone. He could be just kidding, we're dead. After all. Back there. Oh. Thanks for looking out for me. Yeah, I wasn't just gonna have you die. Alright, let's find Kolchak. <laughs> there was a lot of interesting like looks back and forth. That was very anime like. Surprised there weren't a few grunts. What are you <laughs> waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. 
Uh, it's absolutely yeah. not the time. No, it is not, dude. Read the fucking room. Nick, listen. No, 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 no. You listen. If I get killed down here, I want to know I stood up like a real man, not some chump. All right, that's overly, Rachel, overly testosterone-driven. When the time is right. The time is I not right. Now. It me. is not right, <laughs> dude. You don't wear a ring because your marriage ended a year ago. He's right. It is time. <sighs> now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. Fine. Eric. We're, we're kaput. You and I. We're done. We had something very special. But that was a long time ago. Uh, shocked. You're choosing him? Loving. I love you. As long as you're not like, I love you, come back to me. As long as it's just like, hey, you know, I get it, I love you. I still love you, Rach. I mean, okay, not the direction I wanted, really. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. Yeah, just know that I still love you and I that- I want to start a new life. I can give you that. No. No, no, you can't, dude. You can't. After we split, it took me a long time to find hope. As long as it wasn't a little hope. hope. Furious. How could you do this? Hopeful. We can make it work. I don't want to get furious. I'm going to say nothing because I don't want to be like, we can make it work. Okay. All right. Rachel's looking happy. I didn't say anything stupid. Good. Let it go, man. Let it go, let it go. Eric, does the cold bother you? It all means nothing if we die down here. I mean, I guess. It means something to me. Let's find cold check. Is Rachel gonna get infected and then like, she's gonna be like, I have a parasite. And then Nick and Eric are gonna fight over whether or not she should like stay alive and endanger them or like they should mercy kill her. Alright, so alright. Alright. Okay. Alright. <laughs> we have this fucked up shit in my life. Yeah. Close to this. Some seem to be following. Fell like energy twisting forward. inside these large roots. Move. So that's explore the unknown. Stay alert for danger. Thanks, man. They really had this equipment everywhere. They were like deep down in this area as well. Holy shit! All right, Van Huyten, tell me your secrets. Many finds in this temple confirm a hypothesis that the temple was used for sacrifice. Yeah. We know that a century-long drought afflicted the Akkadian Empire, the same dry spell that affected the Old Kingdom in Egypt. The drought caused the abandonment of many cities across Mesopotamia, and drew the Gutian barbarian tribes down from the mountains to the plains, bringing them into conflict with the Akkadians. Uh, in this temple, we see evidence of an increasingly desperate attempt to turn the tide by, appealing to, by appeals to the gods. Related finds, R6, a black onyx, Mesopotamian, Earth Third Period. Onyx stones were symbolic of negative energy and of calamity, perhaps due to the belief that evil undug demons, Udug demons, inhabited the Earth. R19, hold stone, I saw that one. Mesopotamian, Earth Third Period, the stone shows figures praying toward an eclipse. Combined with R6, a piece portrays the eclipse that presages the disaster, so the onyx goes inside the hole. Nifty. Ah, I've seen these two as well. R32, uh, Ritual Tablet, Undated Akkadian. This city, a clay tablet displays a scene of religious ritual. The bull headdress worn by the priest indicates a human sacrifice of acolytes, probably to read the future in their entrails. Mm-mm, tasty. There, uh, this suggests that the killings weren't beyond just Gutian captives. R73, uh, The Battle Tablet, clay tablet depicting a battle scene. The headpieces of the Akkadian warrior suggest this was a battle between Akkadians and Gutians. Dope. Alright. That's all there was there. Thanks for the insight. And the nifty history, which has relatively nothing to do with what we're doing here. 
so cool. This radiating Vel energy is nifty. And this monolith of sorts. What is that? Cocoon? Looks like those things came from here. Were they uh it's like from my died. Oh that's good. When did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. <laughs> Not really. We should stay clear of it. So formaldehyde a preservative. I wonder if they're like, you know, they incubate further or hibernate inside these cocoons, and then come out when they need to to feast or something to that extent. It's hard to tell like when they know when to come out, right? Another notebook. Belongs to Randall ah. Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. Is it like your personal diary, Mr. Science Man? Mr. Archaeologist? Mm, well, oh, that explains why I'm finding all the uh, pages. <laughs> His diary's just been fucked. Alright. Solves one mystery I didn't realize I had until I found evidence that supported it. <laughs> what are we gonna do here? Hello, dead person. Are you Randolph? I'm gonna guess you are. Seeing how your diary is just nearby. And you're surrounded by papers, I guess. And a pack of watch. Very ah, see, yeah, Very that's probably hard. Randolph. Rand Randolph. Watch! A watch case of the portrait of a woman on the inside. Randolph Hodgson carried the portrait of his dead wife, Mary, to give... Okay, Didn't yeah, so to his grief. So that's definitely him. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. Yeah, we gotta get you back to your son. Ah, this might be the last of it. When this temple falls, my wife and I will be unintelligible. I owe her that, at least. The portrait that I carry in my watch case is that is the Mary that I remember, not that unintelligible. Yep, no, wait, I gotta do the story at the back, at the back of it. Oopsie daisy. Don't mind me. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. Hey, bitch. She knew all along what was down here. How? She led us to them. I found her below. Hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. No. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find. An iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. Noise. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below. As if answering the sudden release of blood. Interesting. It's not like a hive mind. Maybe it's just like they could smell it and they were like, dope, tasty blood. I know I am. Alright, so like egg sacs, or like we're just cool with this. Like whatever this stuff is. Like we're just gonna gloss over it. We're not gonna be all like, what is this? We're just like, yeah, it seems par for the course. <laughs> I guess. Why not? That seems constructed. Metal. It's not natural cave anymore. Oh fuck, are they aliens? Yeah. Alright. So not necessarily vampires, but they may be vampires based off of like aliens. Yeah, what you said. And then we created the vampire myth to support what we didn't understand. We're in a spaceship that crashed here long ago, probably. And they were like in hibernation for a long time, and then they just started being like, We're awake now, time to feast. Which seems like odd behavior, very primal behavior for something that's a space varying civilization. But who knows, I could be way off. 
Maybe it's the parasite's fault. Parasite turns them all sorts of cray cray. Is this hell? Is this even real? I mean, your life is a video game, Salim. So sort of. Oh, the poor boy's just like we I don't know what to judged. think. <laughs> God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Yeah, that's a thing. God's got a hard on for punishing people. Zane is all I have left in this world. And I'll get you back to him, buddy. I swear. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. And she was a fool to I do so. To bye, bye. Single parent. <laughs> a fucking gig. Yeah, I mean. But. Yeah. My boy has made me very proud. I'm oh, good. I'm glad you think so. He's going to London. To university. London. If only he would stop stealing. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta steal shit, though. I get it. <laughs> I got it. Sorry. So much. I'm gonna get you to back to Zane, buddy. I'll make it happen. We can make it happen. Is your conscience clear, Jason? I mean, sort of. Reluctant. The checkpoint. Foreboding. They'll be back. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it from the heart. Let's talk about that checkpoint. You feel bad about Green killing job. this woman, too. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Look at him opening up. Look at this growth. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. It's groceries, bro. Tell me. I ordered. I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh, I had to make a call. It's good facial reads. Nick, he shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. Is she like she hearing a pair? Headphones on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is. Yeah. My life was going nowhere fast. Yeah, it's tell the truth. It's a good time. I jumped at the chance to sign up. Join the Marines? We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> <laughs> profound, huh? Yeah, dude. We all do shit. Those towers were hit. And I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it until a week later. How f I, That's really stoned, dude. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're starving. It was kind of everywhere. How did you not? <laughs> Friends. She had her whole life in front of her. And we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? It's almost like a brain aneurysm. Just walking down the street and then like, bleh. It's rough, rough business. I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. Yeah, let's blow up some alien spaceships. We go inside there and we find a way to hurt them. Yeah, find their insecurities and make fun of them for it. Try to fuck with our heads. They try to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! He does not what understand that. On <laughs> Earth, is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Look okay. at this bonding. Hey. Whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. I will have his back. I am tolerant, Jason. 
look at me go. I mean, I, I think that's fair to say that is a good stopping point. Huh. Well, I didn't anticipate the alien factor. It could make sense. You know, spacefaring civilization came here a long time ago. Probably before the time that Mesopotamia really got started or else we like really know. Maybe they had a problem with these parasites. You know, if the parasites create the zombies or the the vampire stuff, like it creates the thralls, which creates a like human version of the parasite. So these are aliens. And that's why, like, none of the human thralls like Mary or Bradshaw or uh, Old Guard Dude. That's why they didn't turn into, like, the vampire vampire creatures. They just turned into, like, a human version of them. So these aliens, when they get the parasite, they're just like, ah, crazy. And are more primal version of their alien selves. I don't know. Theory. That's what I'm going with. And, uh, you know, I hope you're going with it, too. And I hope you're enjoying. I'll catch you next time. Well, 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 what a wonderful adventure we've been on thus far, wouldn't you say? Hey, you. Yeah, you. If you're feeling generous, you can go down and pop over to my Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Rory's Brainworks. They are my rope and video game vanguard, my colonizers of dreams. And without them, those wonderful people, all the video game and ropey endeavors that I do would be way harder to accomplish. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, hop over to my other social medias and join up there to get some updates on what's going on in my crazy world. As always, I'm Rory, this is my Gameworks, and I'll see you next time.